All right, guys, I'm going to tell you a little story today. Uh, I'm out here at Monoville. Uh, anyway, as you can see on the bike, having a little fun. Make a video for YouTube. Anybody wants to see it. Anyway, uh, just thinking about this the other day and talking about kids drinking when they're young which is not a good thing. And I'm about to tell you a story why. So me, my cousin, and Travis, and Boo Boo, and Jason Gore, and Leanne Sargent lives right up here. I'm at the basketball court. She used to live right there. And, uh, me and Travis and uh, Dino, Dino was there too, wanted to get drunk. Boo Boo was all for it. We're only like 14, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 years old. I think one or two of us, I think Jason Leanne was like 17. No, no, just 16. Brian was like 17. I don't know, I was like 15, 16, 15, no, I was four, 14. Okay, anyway, it don't make no difference. Uh, so we went and got this guy. We just pulled up to the liquor store. Guy said, we'll give you $10 if you'll go buy us liquor. So he goes and buys a bottle of 190 for me and Travis. A bottle of black da uh, black label Jack Daniels for uh, I think it was Dino and Jason. Brian was a straight arrow at the, at that time, and he didn't drink. So we uh, anyway we got that guy. I don't even know who he was. I never seen him in my life, but uh, we got him to we got him to. Uh, buy us liquor so we come on back here to monoville we start drinking i do a little drive by uh of the school down there but i think it's somebody's house is out back now there's no playground or nothing but anyway there's a playground at the time and uh we all went back as we're walking back through there we're drinking the liquor me and travis like walk up on the hill there and mix a bunch with like that 190 with some uh purple kool-aid or something i can't remember what it was but anyway we all were getting drunk and and then uh boo boo by the time we got from the front of the school to the back of the school he had drank a whole say three quarters of a fifth by himself and the boy weighed like 80 pounds well we all we all went out back there and, and Leanne and Jason was dating at the time and they were arguing because they knew Boo Boo was going to die. So rest of us wasn't paying no mind. We're drinking like the ignorant fools that we was. And uh, we just keep drinking. Me and Dino, we get on the swings. We're swinging back and forth, handing a bottle back and forth. Uh, and then Boo Boo passes out. And they lay him on the slicky slide. We still don't pay no attention. Stupid. So then we all we all are still over there. Brian and him had left. Brian, see Brian, and then Travis left right after me and him drank the 190. I don't know where he went, but <laughs> me and Dino walked over to the apartments behind that and was talking to one of his friends and hid a bunch of the bottles and came back and everybody was gone and we couldn't figure out what was going on so we went to uh we went to uh travis's house and me drunker and a skunk went up to his mommy knocked on the door where's travis at <laughs> all drunk and like stupid so there i was caught acting like a fool and then next morning comes 
uh you know stuff went down we cha we went up and down the holler couldn't ever figure out where they went to so i went back home that night and went to sleep well my dad was working second shift so this therefore i could go out and run the streets at night uh but which wasn't his fault that's all they could do is get a second shift and he was a boss in the mine so uh, oh god excuse me i should have been responsible enough to know better anyway so i wake up the next morning and i had one of the little dukes of hazard trash cans and <laughs> i woke up and the trash can was right in front of my face i'm laying on my stomach on my bed and the puke was this far from my face in that trash can it was so full my dad comes in there and he says had fun last night didn't you I said, well, what are you talking about? Oh, I already know. You know Boo Boo about died, right? And I was like, what are you talking about? He said, yeah, you all went over there. You give Boo Boo liquor. You're going to end up uh, going to jail over it. Get your ass up. You're not laying around all day, you deadbeat. Get outside and cut grass. I cut grass. I cut weeds. He took me to my mammals. I cut grass. I cut weeds. Needless to say, I wasn't out running the streets because my uncle lived right across the road. And after that, everything I did, he told on me. Everything. If I went outside, they wrote down on a piece of paper how long I went outside for, you know, how long, what for, and whatever. So... I just want y'all kids to know if you get out like that and somebody offers you alcohol, you don't have to take it. It takes a bigger man, it takes a bigger man to not drink and to say, I don't need it, than it does to drink and act like they're cool, okay? Because it ain't cool. You end up with a habit that you can't feed, you can't afford, and don't want. I've been there and done that. It ain't fun. But uh, I don't know, I just thought somebody might enjoy that little, little bit of a story time, or whatever you wanna call it. It's uh, idiotic time for me. If you like them, I'll do another one go somewhere else and give you a memory we've done a lot of crazy things in our time as kids we did we didn't have all the stuff that kids have down today which i mean i have it too i'm not down in it which but anyway i just thought it might be cool somebody might want to hear it somebody might want to see it talk to you later remember Either you love me or you hate me. But if you hate me, you love to hate me. No matter which one, you're going to miss me when I'm gone. See ya.